What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Grid. Thank you so much for joining me here for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. I am really excited about today's video. I have an amazing guest on the channel with me here today. So without further ado, guys, we are covering the top influential Zetas per faction through the entirety of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So we got a big one coming for you guys. Let's jump right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, you know him, you love him, DB Official 125. How are you doing, my brother? I'm doing good, mate. How are you doing? I'm doing great as well. I, uh, obviously, we are, uh, we're making these schedules work. <laughs> it's Again, difficult, as, but we get there. We get there. We get there. It just kind of, it, it just sort of happens, you know? Like, I just, I messaged you this morning. I was just like, uh, do you happen to be awake and ready now? It just, it works out. And it's just, yeah. it's I've just been dragged thing. out of bed, like five minutes before so yeah it works <laughs> we, we make these things work for you guys we do and i'm really excited for it um we've made some videos together and it's really really awesome to have you on the channel so i super appreciate it brother thank you so much uh for working with me and uh getting together so um i'm really excited about this uh this video topic we've we've been chatting about it um for a while now and i think this is yeah, definitely going to be one that's going to help uh quite a few people it's one of those just straight to the point um lists that should hopefully help kind of anyone that's looking at bringing up any team so um without further ado here let's jump right into these uh lists so um i want to give you guys just a couple of um couple of pointers here before we start on the list um these are the most influential zetas per faction okay so we're going to go down the whole faction list um and the idea that to, to keep in mind is if you want to take a faction to the next level of annoyance or frustration to deal with or just potential in the game how can you do that in the most efficient way possible with a single zeta Okay, and this is going to be within the faction itself. So if you want to take your Empire Squad to the next level in one Zeta, who's going to be the tune to do that? Same for Galactic Republic and Geonosians, Imperial Troopers, so on, so forth. Um, we have excluded Galactic Legends because nobody likes them. Um, Screw them. <laughs> <laughs> they keep beating me in arena. <laughs> I, I hate seeing them. Um, uh, and then we've also cut out two factions, that being the droid faction and the clone trooper faction, because pretty much all the clone troopers are in the 501st anyways, and pretty much any of the droids that you would use in a droid team are separatists, and we're going to cover the separatists as well, right? Yeah, no um, one likes yeah, there's yeah, <laughs> we, no HK lead, droid, uh, what, R2-D2, 3PO squad. <laughs> So, we'd love to run that arena. Jeez. Yeah. So, we're going to start here with the list, guys. We're going to start here at the top. Uh, we are literally just going alphabetical because my OCD said I had to. Um, and then we're going to cover some of the more important factions in a one by one sort of case. So, we're going to start with these guys here. First and foremost, Bounty Hunters, Bosk Lead. Any thoughts on that guy? Any surprise there? I'm not at all surprised, really. I mean, most of the events, for example, the Chewy one, so much easier when you've got a really strong boss lead, and it doesn't really matter whether, you know, what you do with the attack, you're going to be healing your team's health and protection, and the Bounty Hunters are pretty bloody soft. Can't overlook this one. Just can't overlook it. Now, also, oh, I, I do apologize. I should have thrown this disclaimer out there at the beginning. We are not also including um, the Mandalorian Grief Karga because we haven't been able to actually play with those Zetas. It's hard to make yeah. the decision based on them. That could change specifically for Bounty Hunters because Grief and Mando look pretty beastly, but they we do. don't know for sure. So we're sticking with that one for now. Um, second, Ewoks, uh, Chirpa Lead. That's probably the easiest one to just kind of gloss over. I feel like, um, yeah, I mean, it's the go-to, isn't it? Really, like if it, when when you're doing that three PO event, you're, you're going to make your life so much easier if mm. you if you get Chirp as one on there, just due to the the additional uh, assists and stuff. Really, the more attack, the more term meter, kind of speaks for itself. 
Uh, next up here for the Empire Faction. Now, when it comes to the Empire Faction, I'm going to bring us back up here. On the Empire Faction, we grouped in Emperor Palpatine with the Empire. Um, some yeah. of these ones are kind of difficult if, you know, so for some of those characters that have so many tags, you got Empire, you got Sith, um, you got, you know, if you're Jedi and Galactic Republic and Resistance and this and that. Yeah. It's kind of difficult. So we're going with like the primary role that these characters um, that these characters fill um, and Emperor Palpatine, obviously the leader of the Empire. Um, he's the guy that for sure easily that leadership again, night and day difference when they announced his Zeta and gave that to him. Wow. What a game changer mm, I was that? I agree. I know when, when it first because um, I was I was in the program at the time the game changer program and when they, they sent me that early I was like oh wow this looks this looks good like we could possibly get some turn meter oh, train going yeah and that's exactly oh. what it is I mean you get that going it's very very difficult to shut it down um and the battle's usually over once once it's fully in effect yep that is a beastly zeta now it is doubled over where it benefits both empire and sith we are talking yep. specifically for either faction you're going to be great but especially mm -hmm. within that empire faction it's actually quite interesting that even if you exclude you know the nihilus or Bastlashan fallen who just yep. you know make that team excel even more you can still make a really annoying team with an ep mm -hmm. lead tie fighter pilot vader yep. with like shore trooper and death trooper or something you know like there is still a lot of love that that team um can give and a lot of pain that that team can cause if you let it get away from you yeah i mean if you can if you can get your raw guard to actually stick stuns as well to to make the term train even worse for them because they they lose all theirs mm -hmm. yeah it, it can be really quite ugly oh yeah Next up on the list here, we got the First Order. Um, so if you want to take the First Order to the next level, it is very similar to Bosk. Um, it just adds so much survivability to that team that if you don't know exactly how to deal with it, or even if you just got a beefy crew, which we're going to cover in another video for you guys, with that Zeta, it is hard to get through yeah. and one that you can definitely underestimate. Yes, it's absolutely nasty due to the, I think it's if we're covering health and protection, isn't it, or stats effects, something yep. along those lines. I think it gave it extra speed or, or, or something like that. Yeah, 30 um, speed, 5% health, and 5% protection on a status effect. Yeah, it's, it, it can well be really, damage. really brutal. If you don't have the right characters left, um, particularly now they've brought in some big hitters to the faction as well. It, yeah. Yeah, it, by, by far the best one. Even if you're going to run Hux lead, it's good to have this in your back pocket for, yep. for other uses. So, yeah, I really, really can't disagree with this one at all. It's great to hear. All right, here next on our list. So, up until now, um, all of our uh, Zetas have been on the leadership. Clearly, a lot of times, mm -hmm. the easiest way to benefit a faction is through the leadership. However, the, Ge the Geonosians come here, and the first one, the best Zeta is actually uh, Geobrood Alpha's Unique, which yeah. allows him to start with the Brute Summoned on the field yeah absolutely brilliant there and changed it because when he's when the brute isn't there um so many teams can just gun straight at you, you can either go straight at brood alpha and, and try and shut him down or you can you can pick off some of the softer geonosians reducing the overall health equalization and make it easier to kill them um having him start there means you've got to use one of those characters that can bypass a taunt or get the first turn and yep. yeah it's it's an absolutely great i can't even remember what the lead one does it's that insignificant in comparison uh, yeah <laughs> it's uh it's like bonus damage and health i think or i don't yeah, even I, think it's something I basics even, I do and, i can't remember what it is i believe it's basics do an additional like 10 percent damage or something yeah you're like right that. It's, yes, for each buffed enemy. I mean, I don't even have it. That, that says yeah, it. And they I still. Don't even I mean, use it. they hit like wet noodles, anyways. Like, yeah. What's a little bit more damage? <laughs> exactly. Outside of spy, no one's really doing big numbers. So yeah, yeah. The unique is fantastic. All right, scooting right along here, brother, to our next one. Uh, apparently, this hits close to your heart here. Imperial troopers. Oh yeah. I love Imperial Troopers, man. Like when I when I first kind of got my my channel going, they were like one of the factions that. I was showing people like you know these these aren't trash characters look at all the stuff you can kill and a lot of people were shocked when when their uh their, their palpatine lead with treya and nihilus and scion was dying in 25 seconds to my real truth they were like are you serious like people in my shard were actually raging like are you cheating or something i was like no i'll show you a video and i'll just run through it and then they'll use their night sisters and i'd run through it i, I remember mean, it's a, those it's a great team 
really it, great team, and, and the Zeta just it just transforms them. Yeah, and and that one was a a nutty little team there. I remember um, I I originally got the Zeta because of the original Dark Side um, Hoth TB. Oh yeah, um, that's that's why I got him. I had never used him in arena. I didn't use him for anything other than doing this TB. And then I'm pretty sure yeah, it must have been your videos. I just remember seeing him, and I was like. He just killed Treya <laughs> yeah. in 30 seconds. <laughs> and I was like, it get this team, crazy. get this team. <laughs> As you've seen, I, I, I always, I've got like underpowered characters. I was doing it, how long with gear nine range and now he's yeah. gear 10 and it just doesn't matter because there's so much turn meter generation. If you've got the turn order right, yep. the speed's at the right kind of spot, it's game over for so many teams. Uh, they're so effective with ability block, cooldown increase, death mark, daze, defense yeah. down um on top of the actual buffs they gain just such a, a an underrated team people still write them right. off and they're still quite useful all right next up here we are going to jump over to the uh night sister or sorry older public older public um no real this one actually uh i did kind of go back and forth between um ultimately i just we decided there on the karth leadership the Karth leadership is what allows them to be recovering all of that health and protection off of the dots. Mm -hmm. um, I was going back and forth though for a moment between um, uh, either mission or yeah, missions unique. Um, yeah, it's pretty I, good as well. For for really for for a lot of these Zetas guys, it is difficult to nail down because everyone's in you're in different parts of the game, you're in different areas, and, and we're not we're not trying to get into like individual or specific circumstances. Just trying to say like. In a general, in a whole kind of overview, this most likely is is what's going to do the best thing there for you. Um, yeah. Karth lead and missions unique are both fantastic ones, and missions is one that can catch people off guard because next thing you know she's just freaking going nuts over there whenever Zalbar's going. Yeah. Um, but I think ultimately to benefit the entire faction, you need that survivability from Karth's leadership because if that Zeta is not there, I know I can use pretty much any team to walk through yeah. those guys, and I don't need to worry about the health regeneration. I just kill people and i go on my way so yeah it, it just makes it a little bit more annoying doesn't it i mean yeah. there are a lot of teams that if, if you're if you're fighting it and it's on defense it's not too difficult as long yeah. as you've got like some sort of some sort of like you know, tenacity or, or whatever you can shut yeah. it down they just don't heal but um if you're going to use it on offense and you can pick your opponent you can really make use of that zeta to its maximum ability and it, yeah it works out quite decent it does it does um next up here guys we have the night sisters um again this one was up for debate ultimately we settled on assage leadership mm -hmm. um now this one actually i'm going to pull up here in the game because they are quite similar between assage's leadership and talzin's leadership um so if we jump over to the night sisters um now assage's leadership versus talzin's leadership both of them have the plus 30 speed um, and then the difference is Asajj goes into offense and turn meter gain Talzin goes into potency and the revives right yeah. and ultimately I just that I mean 30% offense is is you know that's nice um, but to gain 50% turn meter whenever you go below 100% health and on top of that not even including the uniques of both Daka and Talzin, who also gain bonus turn meter when someone goes underneath a certain um, health threshold, and then have a chance to remove 20% turn meter. The turn meter yeah. manipulation in this team is insane. It and is, it, it's quite scary at times as well. I mean, I, I yeah. can run through against the Sarge, but I prefer not to, because I know I'm, I'm, I'm simply rolling a dice if she's going to reduce turn meter uh -huh. on a critical character right off the bat and you also got to factor in that you know the night sisters stun so you got yeah. turn meter gain turn meter reduction stun it's it's pretty scary and yeah it's, it's a great data it really is you can um, see why they've remained relevant for so long they still are like yeah. you can find especially i i part of me loki really wants to relic up all my night sisters i will get She's there eventually how dare you what <laughs> She's missing a mod. How dare you? Dude, do you even watch my videos? <laughs> it's like my most glad. I always. My mods are all over the place, brother. They really are. Everyone down in, in, in chat, I can just hear them. They're just typing away. Just. Yep, that's gritting for you. <laughs> Next up here, someone that no one really, you know, a uh, squad that we know, yeah, you know, 
don't really care about, but no, just, <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, um, this one was, um, there's a lot of Zetas out there. Ultimately, I settled on Kanan's Unique. Um, Kanan, uh, for a lot of people who may not know, Kanan is uh, on his unique. That's going to boost up. Uh, it gives you guys the foresight and then just mad amounts of uh, turn meter off of it. So basically, he grants foresight to, I believe it's himself and one or two other allies, I think is what it is. Um, yeah, it dispels all debuffs, grants some def uh, defense up. But then uh, Kanan and the target ally gain foresight for two turns. When that foresight expires, he uh, Kanan gains 100% turn meter and all other Phoenix allies gain 50% turn meter. So again, mad amounts of turn meter gain, which fuels him just doing that move over and over and over and over again, so. Yeah, it's, but, it's, it's pretty fun Zeta. Like if, you, if you're early game, I mean, I would, we wouldn't recommend putting yes. Zetas in your Phoenix squad, but at some point that there's gotta be something that happens in which will bring them forward again, you know, some sort of rework, another character that can mm -hmm. plug in. Uh, maybe they'll finally give Fulcrum that tag God. that she used to have in testing. But um, yeah, I mean, I remember when the Zetas were first announced and I was flicking through the kits and I was like, ooh, Kanan's looks a little bit scary. I mean, yeah. it's actually, it's not as unique. It's actually special, but I figured mm. I'd, I'd put that out there for people who My do apologies. go to as unique now. Um, it, it is as special, so don't insult Grid in the comments. But it, <laughs> it's, 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 it's quite underrated. I think if you can get some use out of the team, um, and you really like the faction. I'm a big fan of Rebels myself. I like mm -hmm. the show. Um, if I'm going to Zeta anybody, it's probably going to be Kanan. So, yep. Yeah. The only other one that seems useful in other areas of the game was Ezra. But in all honesty, yeah. his Zeta just doesn't... I mean... Doesn't, doesn't do a whole bring lot. a lot to him, does it? Yeah. It's just, I mean, you get some bonus damage, a cooldown or something of the sort, but... Um, okay, next up on the list here, Rogue One. Very easy. We can kind of just gloss over this one. Jin Leadership. I mean, really, yep. all the other Zetas are... I mean, even... even I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. A lot of the Zetas on that team are are borderline insulting. They are. They're cool. They're, they're all like, <laughs> like, bad. Like, mm -hmm. bad. <laughs> they're very, very poor Zetas. Um, Jin's leadership is you're going to be recovering the protection whenever you gain a buff. Obviously, there are so many buffs that get spread throughout yep. that entire team. Um, so you're just recovering a lot of protection as you're going about um, the match. So that one's quite easy to, uh, to distinguish there. It's still quite a weak faction, uh, but that leadership would make it more annoying to deal with for sure. The only place I used it, and the only reason I even got it, was back in the days when Hoth TV was relevant. And yep. it just kind of helped out that, that Rogue One mission. That's it. Yep. All right, guys, so we are going to jump down into some of these specific factions here, some of the teams um, that are much more common for people to be using nowadays. Um, we're going to start at the top here, guys. We got the 501st. Um, this one, if, uh, you know, some people might be, I, I don't I don't know, some people, when I when I mention it right away um, to some of uh, some other viewers and some patrons, um, they were actually kind of surprised. And, and I stand by this one 100%. Uh, the most valuable Zeta that you can get out of the 501st to take them to the next level is CT5's Tactical Awareness. Talk to me about this one here, DB. 100%. I, I can't disagree with you at all. Um, I mean, when, when I was originally running the faction when I first got gas, I didn't have his Zetas yet. He was underpowered. Mm -hmm. And you know, his pipes that's doing the business. We're, we're trying to make sure that somebody dies. Mm -hmm. He sacrifices. And if you've got him well modded, I don't, it doesn't matter if you've gone the health route so you can tank out your clones or if you've gone the, the offense and speed route so you can make them ridiculously quick and hit even harder. This Zeta will transform your clones, whether they're in 501st, clone factions, shack troopers. You just can't overlook this one. I, I, I think this is where you have to start um, if you're doing 501st. This one is insane. Um, mm -hmm. it, it grants the max health, max protection, speed and offense stats in addition to their own it specifies that um yeah. when someone is defeated when a 501st uh clone trooper is defeated um and i've had it personally where i have gone in against gear 10 gear 11 gear 12 clones that had a mm -hmm. relic seven fives and and you are still scared of it it's a it was yeah. a shock to lead with the 501st and i was still nervous and since you got this squishy little arc trooper over there at gear nine he died <laughs> yeah. right off the bat and next thing i know they are supercharged i've had and, that happen yeah i feel like most people unfortunately have 
Yeah, because everyone's like last work getting their act built. Um, and they're like, oh yeah, I just leave them there so no one can AOE my team. Yep. And it's like, oh, come on. Yep. Come on. And then I took it's... a risk once. I was like, he should survive. It's not the biggest <laughs> AOE in the world. No, he literally died. Uh, and then that was it. Echo just lightened me up. I was like, oh, fantastic. Absolutely incredible Zeta that really transformed that entire squad. I remember when I first read it, I, I thought it was borderline broken. It was that good. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was an awesome one. Um, next up here, guys, we are jumping into the Galactic Republic. Again, a very this this faction actually was difficult to cover um, because it's such a big faction. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, there's so many people that are grouped into the um, into the Galactic Republic tag. Um, no, it really is. Yeah, it's it's so it's a big one. There's some missy mods there again for you. Um, ultimately, we decided on Padme's leadership. Um, the reason being is that Zeta specifically is while the team has uh, protection up, light side allies resist all debuffs and can't be critically hit. So you have a permanent, uh, effectively tenacity up and critical hit immunity, which neuters a lot of teams. Like we we're talking about earlier, EP is a huge one. Um, rebels who get fueled off of a lot of um, who are, are basically geared up for you know crit damage and massive attacks no longer can benefit from any of that um, and just the sheer amount of protection up that gets thrown out by this team especially when you're using you know the full Galactic Republic squad uh, Padme mm -hmm. gives it Anakin gives it uh, I believe yep. Snips does uh, then you have yeah, additional special. yeah it's just it's just all over the place um, and that's something that, let's say maybe you don't know what that Zeta does and you go in against a Padme squad, even if they're like gear 10, you know, lower leveled, um, next thing you know, you're not getting any debuffs and, and you just can't fuel anything on your team. It takes out the entire debuff and critical hit aspect of a team in one Zeta. All right, next up on the list here is Rebels. So when we go into the Rebels, um, again, large faction. There's a lot of tunes in it. Ultimately, though, we did decide on Han. Uh, now, Han's unique, which is shoots first. Let's jump on over to it over here. Um, is is something that really uh, took him to the next level. Um, again, one of those Zetas that changed very quickly and, and dramatically. Um, it allows him to use his basic attack again. Um, even though it's dealing 50% um, less damage, we know that Han is a monster when it comes to damage. And if you look at his yeah. basic, it also allows you to remove that bonus turn meter. Um, so even, even though you're doing 50% you know, less damage, Dude, the guy's hitting for like 60, 40, 50, 30,000 damage. He's all over the place. Um, so he just, he goes to the next level with that basic. Um, and it takes that rebel faction to that next level, being able to hit that much and have a second turn and be able to reduce the turn meter on top of it. I feel like it's an excellent mm -hmm. choice for a lot of people if you want to take the rebels up. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a brilliant saver. And I, I, when we were talking about it, I was very, very torn with this, and it binds a lot of things as well. Mm -hmm. But um, I feel like this one kind of benefits the faction overall a little bit more, because it otherwise it just relies too much on Luke. So yeah, yeah. I feel this is the better faction one. As great as it binds all things is, um, it's only really helping him out. So yeah, th this is the way to go, in my opinion. Yep. Couldn't agree more there. Um, all right, so if we're moving on to our next one, uh, we're jumping over to Scoundrels. Um, on the Scoundrels here, uh, we went with Emphis Nest um, on her unique fighting instinct. Kind of self-explanatory. Um, her Zeta there, um, it allows her to ignore taunt, and she has that max health, that stacking. Um, mm -hmm. While it doesn't benefit like the whole team, her in, in and of herself took the scoundrels to that next level. So having her Zeta that allows her to ignore taunt and has that max health uh, health steal on top of it is just is just crazy. Um, and it allows her to really have that next level survivability where even if you knock her down, she has that sliver of red health left, but her bonus protection stacks up the counters. She'll go right back to full health. Yeah, it's it's a brilliant say, and it really was what transformed the group. When she came in, you could just plug her into those teams, yep. and and she changed it because she's become such a deadly weapon, yeah. really, like, on offense or on defense. If you're a tenacity modder, make her slow, uh -huh. it's a nightmare to face. Um, and if you're on offense, you can run her however you really fancy it, whatever fits your strategy the best. Yep. She's just a great character. Absolutely amazing character. Mm. 
Um, next up here, guys, jumping on over to the Separatists. Um, the Separatists, this one, yeah, there is a lot of debate on this one. Um, do you want to walk us through that one there, DB? What do you think about the Separatist Zetas? Because there's um, a lot of them, right? <laughs> yeah, there, 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 there's a lot of Zetas. Some people have, have particular favorites, but I don't think you can really look past this. When, when... Couldn't agree more. That's It's one of those Zetas that um, just... If you go in, in up against a Grievous team that doesn't have that Zeta, you're just like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I can kill whoever I want in whatever yeah. order I want and just mm -hmm. move on. You know, you don't yeah, have to worry about taking those... those bonus turns and just smacking you and stealing all of your banners. <laughs> exactly. I faced one of those on my alt account yesterday in Grand Arena. I was like, oh, he doesn't have that Zeta. He's got his lead. That's fine. So I just killed everyone I fancied killing and yep. just, no, there was no fear. I could yeah. just use an AoE team and wipe them all out. Yeah. If, if he had had that, totally different battle. Yep, hundred percent. All right, next up here we got uh, the Jedi faction again. Large faction ultimately yep. boiled down to Jolie Bindo. Um, mm -hmm. Again, oh, it's the Zeta that everyone freaking hates. It mm. is so aggravating. Um, his Zeta is one that allows him to revive all defeated uh, Jedi. Um, so it's just like the Night Sisters on steroids. That next thing you know, you kill everybody, and then they're right back and you're right back mm -hmm. where you started and the, the thing is not only do they come back they come back with 80% health yeah. and crit immunity for five turns it's five. Just insane like, if you don't have someone to cleanse the buff so it dispels them oh just like what you know what do you do then yeah you're it, just like... when this first came out it was crazy and it's got it, it probably makes him the best marquee that we've had he's just oh, yeah. it's, it's like a legendary characters move and it's on a marquee yeah uh, and it, it doesn't matter if he's in jedi rebel or bastard early game yeah it's an amazing zeta any jedi squad the dude's mm -hmm. freaking nuts. all right next up here jumping over to the sith faction we have darth treya and the lord of betrayal um now this one is on her unique yep from her, yep on her unique mm -hmm. here um this one is an it's an interesting zeta because uh, we're gonna pop over to her here real quick. Um, it allow it, it basically um, it, it it gets rid of the entirety of the debuff mechanic, kind of like Padme. Yeah. It gets rid of the entirety of the mechanic of debuffs. Um, for for your team, you don't got to worry about buff immunities. You don't got to worry about dots. You don't got to worry about and there's no debuff that you know that you need to worry about anymore. Um, mm -hmm. they, they get dispelled and you move on with your life. Um, and so all those ability blocks, stuns, anything where you are trying uh, to, to manipulate their team to not be able to use a certain ability through either a stun or ability block or something of the sort, no longer can do that. Um, and mm -hmm. then this team just has free reign. They don't need to worry about any of those debuffs. So that one is, uh, you know, we're kind of going back and forth between the leadership and the unique there. Um, and I felt like ultimately that that unique is uh, that's nasty. That's a nasty. Yeah, one. I think that's what makes it work because otherwise people can they can ability block Nihilus and then you don't get drained, you don't get annihilated. You can ability block um, Science, who doesn't get his uh, additional defense, and, and he can't go into the zombie mode and stuff. But yeah, when that when that is there, man, that is so annoying. You just can't shut those characters down. You just have to kill them. Yeah, basically. you're just like, well, I'm You've got to kill them. Stuck on you. Yeah. And especially, that is a great point with Nihilus. You no longer can really stop him short of, you know, mm. of a, you know, fracture or something of the sort. But yeah. uh, you just watch him just go. You're just like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember when that was meta. And it, how do we shut this down? I don't have anything that can hit it hard enough. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Great All right. Last one here. Sith Empire. We got the Dark Lord, Darth Malak on the jaws mm -hmm. of life um this one was difficult to choose because both of them are so freaking insane <laughs> it was it was hard to go back and forth really you're not going to go wrong with either i don't think um the jaws of life here though is is i i think it's the nasty one because it gives him the bonus turn and mm -hmm. drain life is reset so drain life is crazy in and of itself right yeah 
But then he gets a bonus turn, the cooldowns reset, so then you're using Drain Life even more, and then you're getting Dark Infusion, and then the team just goes absolutely bonkers. While it does benefit primarily Darth Malak himself, um, that makes the whole... This is what took... Malak is what took the Sith Empire to the next level, right? We knew that it was much easier to beat just Darth Revan by himself when Darth mm -hmm. Malak wasn't there. Darth Malak came, we couldn't touch him. Then you get the Zetas on top of that, and it's just mental absolutely just bonkers yeah. yeah i mean you start working down his health you think you're making progress um and then you trigger <laughs> one of those thresholds he gets another turn he heals himself and he kills you and you're like, oh fantastic and now he's <laughs> you know, all, all his all his stats have like doubled at the same time it's like yep. how do you get through it was it was really difficult when he first came along yeah because darth revan i just stuck with the jedi meta and just kept killing it and taking first yep. every day yep malak arrived i just changed my game plan and yep. this zeta was the reason yep because you 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 think you're making just like you said you think you're making progress and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden you do you're you're hitting someone else and then you're like okay I'll, I'll do an AOE I don't think it'll trigger him and then boom you see his turn meter and you're like no <laughs> and yeah. then all and of a sudden just it. one of your people is just dead and you're like crap and he always targets someone that's really important as well. <laughs> for the next turn whoever it is yeah. that next turn is going to be important and he's like you're he's gone gone <laughs> gone yeah, he's an amazing Zeta. Hey guys, uh, future Gridden here. Um, while I was wrapping up the editing for this video, I realized that I uh, forgot to add the resistance into um, the uh, into the mix there. So real quick, <laughs> kind of goes without saying there, guys. For the resistance, me and DB uh, both agreed upon this one. It was the JTR leadership for the inspirational presence. Um, again, speed and turn meter in this game is king. So when it comes to it, um, raise leadership allows for mad amounts of turn meter manipulation, both turn meter gain and turn meter removal. Turn meter gain for your team whenever you're hitting exposes and turn meter removal uh, for the same thing on the enemy team with those exposes as well as some cooldown uh, decreases, increases. Um, it really helps fuel the entirety of the team as well as put them into that next category of doing HSTR damage, of being really a force to be recognized and with for GAC, Territory Wars, and in other events. Um, so that was my bad, guys. But Resistance, JTI Leadership. Sorry about that. Really. All right, brother. Well, that concludes our list here, guys. We went through them. I know this video was a little bit long, but when you're trying to cover every single Zeta in the entire or every faction for the whole game, uh, it takes a minute. So I appreciate all of you guys who stuck around the entirety of this time. Um, I hope it was beneficial for you guys. I hope you learned something here. We had a blast making the video. We had a blast yep. coming up with this. So let us know down in the comments below what you guys agree or disagree with. Um, if you guys think that we got it wrong, if we got it right, whatever it may be, you guys are more than welcome to that. And we would love to hear from you guys. Um, DB, brother, plug away. Oh, thanks, dude. I mean, it's it, great to work with you once again. If you guys haven't seen me before, then obviously check out my YouTube channel. I've got a Twitch channel too, and Grid's there most of the time anyway. So <laughs> if you watch Grid, you probably know who I am already, and uh, I hope, hope to see you guys soon. There's, yeah, there's no way. Yeah, you guys see me, over, I'm over there all the time. It is a blast to hang out in the Legion, to hang out with you guys and the Troopers. It's a super fun time, guys. Highly recommend. Make sure to go check out his channel. Sub, like, Hit him up on Twitch, follows over there. Doesn't cost you guys anything, but you will have a heck of a good time hanging out with him. So descriptions and link or sorry, links down in the description below. Make sure to pop over there. Tell him that the grid sent you. <laughs> we'll have a good time. And otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, again, DB, thank you so much. Guys, we are going off the grid for now, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See you then.